by far one of the most panic inducing moments of my life. Hey guys, welcome. So, okay, today the story time that I have for you guys is actually one that took place when I was a teenager. This actually all started with my friend at the time, who was my best friend, her boyfriend. This guy was my personal jinx. I swear, every time we all hung out, all three of us hung out, I would always get injured in the most bizarre ways. For an example, one time I had this bracelet with all these spikes around it and everything, and he took it and he was teasing me with it and like, we always hung around the playground, not like just to hang around and just chill and whatnot. So he would go up on top of the playground and just like kind of like dangle it in front of me and say like, hi, I got your bracelet. I remember he threw it down so I can get it. After I just have had enough, I said, just give it back to me. He threw it down and it hit me right here in the face, spike first. And I remember I had a, like a dot right here of blood. So that was one of the bizarre injuries I acquired with this guy. As you can probably guess in the title below, this is another one of those injury mo injured moments. So this all began when we all decided to go and hang around. Again, we went to the playground just to chill out because we just always we would always walk around the neighborhood just chilling out and talking and whatnot and laughing. So we went to the playground. I had on these nice sandals. They were sort of like flip-flops but like with a pretty thick heel, not like regular flip-flops. And so I had those on and I was just walking around the playground and you know like the little bridge on a playground. I was up on there and I decided I just wanted to like sit down and let my feet dangle and just relax in the nice summer breeze so I took off my sandals. Well, this guy, let's call him Doug. Doug decided to grab one of my sandals and again take it and tease me with it saying haha I got your sandal ha 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 no not funny man because I was so I was just I was getting irritated I was just like I'm just like just give me my freaking sandal because I I could not get down on being barefoot on witch trips hurts so I was just getting irritated. I was so irritated to the point where I actually did get down and I kind of like hopped on one leg over to the grass and I just said, just give me my effing sandal. And these were sandals that, they were not exactly like flip-flops so I could kind of like buckle them. So I kneeled down and I was on like, I was like on one knee, I was kneeling and buckling, buckling my sandals. And as I was kneeling down, Doug, he, was on the other like a couple of feet away from me by the same like little open field and he decided to fling my sandal towards me like total wrist flinging motion with that velocity I swear this guy was like a ninja he had perfect aim because when I was kneeling down I decided at that exact moment to look up so I'm kneeling down I decided to look up and that sandal let me get something I'll use this as an example so I'm here kneeling and that sand I decide to look up and that sandal is flinging right at me and decides to I get hit in the eye direct eye injury it hurt so bad I was crying so much oh my god I couldn't even like and it was just I didn't like crying in front of my friends no matter what because it's embarrassing I could not help it I just I was crying, I was angry, I was so mad, I was just yelling at him saying, just get away from me. I was so upset. Needless to say, I just told my friend and her, her dog to go home, like just leave me alone, I'll just call my mom to pick me up. So I did. My mom came to me and picked me up, I told her what happened, and I just told her I, it, was, it was an accident, it's not like he intentionally meant to fling a sandal at me and hit me in the eye. I went home, holding my eye the whole ride home, crying. And it was just like pulsating pain. It was hurting so bad. By the time I got home, of course, I put an ice pack on it. This whole time, I didn't even bother to try to open my eye. I just, I just held and put like just pressure on my eye. So when I got home, I got an ice pack. I put an ice pack on my eye. And I just laid down. I just laid on my bed. Well, a few hours went by, and I'm like, okay, I think I'm better. Let me try to, let me try to take the ice pack off. So I took it off. I tried to open my eye a little bit. All I saw was bright white. I panic so much. I freaked out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm blinded in my left eye. I literally could not see anything, not even silhouettes of anything. It was totally white. I was freaking the fuck out. I was so scared. 
because especially me, I love to draw and to paint and I need my eyesight. Oh my god. I was so scared out of my mind. I was so scared and I told my mom, oh my god, I can't see. I'm blind. And she's like, calm down, calm down. Just relax, put the ice pack on, try and get some sleep for the night. And if you're, if you're not better by tomorrow morning, then we'll go to the emergency room. We'll go to the doctor and see if there's anything you can that can be done. Uh, needless to say, I could not sleep. I, I was panicking. My mind was just racing all night. But eventually I did. I got some sleep. Morning hits. And thank God I opened my eye very, very slowly. And thank God I can see. I don't know what happened. I don't know if you can sprang an eyeball or bruise like your muscles around like your eye. I don't know what happened. I'm not a doctor. But yeah. That little jinx of a child injured me more times than one. Like I said, in the most bizarre ways. Like, I tried to avoid him after that. Every time we hung out, I was just like keeping my distance from him. I'm like, you just stay over there. Like, don't throw anything at me. Just stay over there. So, it was a short story, but I hope you guys got a laugh out of it. I really hope you liked it. So, I'm actually going to try and upload a face painting video for today for you guys too because someone did leave in the comments that I should do a face painting videos because I do that in my spare time for gigs and birthday parties. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, like my video, it really helps, and subscribe too, and leave a comment too letting me know any things you guys want to see. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good day, evening, or night wherever you guys are from. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!